Welcome back to our spec house project here in Oakland County, Michigan. I'm super excited today. As you can see around me, the drywall is finished and painted, which of course is why it's so echoing here. It sounds like we're in a cave. So if you can hear me through this, I'll be impressed. I wanted to cut in here today because we're doing something a bit different. I'm testing the difference between my iPhone and the Canon M50. Also wanted to test the audio quality between the built-in iPhone camera and the Rode video mic. I would love to get some feedback in the comment section as to what you like better, as well if you find any ideas that can improve the Canon system. I'd really prefer to use that system over the iPhone going forward. I want to show you a couple things today about items that come in with drywall, especially when you're coming to your finishes. Now you want to get these items early. You don't want to wait until after the drywallers are left and everything's painted out. You want to get these items early before the drywallers are gone because getting them back can certainly be a challenge. From start to finish, our drywall took about two weeks. This is from the drywallers coming in, doing their initial layout, laying their boards, doing their coats, and then of course having our painters come and spray their primer coat. This primer coat is going to be ideal to do right after the drywallers are done. It's going to allow you to see any imperfections that you're not going to be able to see until you have a little bit of sheen on the wall. It also puts down a nice base layer so that your final coat of paint is going to stick nicely and not have any differences because of different absorption rates into the drywall board versus the plaster that goes over the joints. A couple of the big things that we have to check early on is are the corners right? The corners are a big place where you will see differences in squareness and flatness of your drywall. Looking at these photos, going over every corner, you can see areas where we do have tiny bits of degradation. Now it's very minor, and we've already gone through and talked to our drywallers about these little items that they're going to come and fix in the punch list. But these are the items that all these details are minuscule, on a high-end house that's selling well over half a million dollars like this one, clients are going to see this. So for the year following the house, we typically give our clients the time to look at everything, and then on that one-year mark, we come in one time and do our warranty fixes. So this can be anything from nail pops coming through the drywall to uh, cracks from things settling and moving. If we have a nice relationship with the customer, we'll come in and fix things like scuffs from chairs hitting the wall, or kids playing, things like that. We'll take care of because that's a low cost item for us. And as a custom builder, we want customers coming back and back to us because we show them the care during and after the house build process. Now you can see on this house, one thing we did not drywall is the sill right below the window. Because below the window, we're gonna have a wood sill here and we're gonna have this tilted slightly out from the window so if any moisture, water gets on these sills, it's gonna drain out and not sit and not go back in under the sill, which can cause rot. Another thing we're gonna check when our drywall is finished is going around and seeing that all our boxes are flush. Electrical code stipulates that your boxes cannot be more than one quarter of an inch behind the face of the drywall. Now at this point, our electrical code check is done, but we do a final electrical after everything is complete. And this is something, if the inspector sees, he could make you take this box out of the wall and refix it, which is gonna mean a lot of drywall work that you don't wanna do weeks before you have to turn over the house. Now above me here, I love this detail we did with the arch on our balcony walking over the living room. This detail, it just looks fantastic. It looks like something you'd find in a multi-million dollar home. And it's not too hard, the drywallers do this kind of stuff all the time. They typically use a thinner drywall, like a quarter inch, maybe two layers, and layer it up so they can make this curve without any risk of cracking. And I think the image speaks for itself. This is one of those items that people see and say, hey, they took the time, they looked at the details. Take a look at this entryway now. You can see how you get a clear line of sight all the way from the door straight when you walk in past these beautiful oak steps and into the big fireplace right behind us. This entryway turned out just how I wanted it. We got a column here, which I don't think takes away from the space in any way because it does have these nice shapes and nice angles. 
We got the stairs behind me, which I think are going to turn out phenomenal, having a little bit of an exposed baluster here while keeping the cost down because 75% of our stairs have drywall on both sides. With our drywall up here, guys, in the master bedroom, bathroom, you can see everything is prepped for tile. We're gonna come in here, waterproof this backer board, and we're good to go to start finishes in here. But just a big, brightly lit, blank slate, guys. I mean, look at this, just phenomenal. This cove ceiling detail is phenomenal here in the master bedroom. You can see here walking right in, just how amazing this is. It had such a height. I'm really glad we did this. I thought this is a great opportunity to test the fisheye lens on the new iPhone 12. Uh, not sponsored or anything, but I just think this is awesome to try to film in a new way. You can really see the expansiveness of this big open living room that connects into a full walk-in kitchen. We're gonna have a huge bar in this kitchen, which is gonna be great for big families. It's a very modern feel, and I think it's gonna just really improve the way this use is functional in this room. Looking behind me here, you can really see how the kitchen took shape now that the drywall is up. You see all the clean lines, modern feel, and once we put the trim on here, which is gonna be a full six inch OG style MDF molding, you're gonna see the class really come into this house. That's what I'm gonna be able to show you next time. The last thing I wanna leave you with is really at this stage of your process, as a builder, you wanna go through and take a look at any item that is penetrating the wall. At this stage, it's much easier to do any kind of drywall work, taking drywall out, adding any wires such as TV connections or data connections. You wanna add these now before you start working on flooring and other finishes. Because during dry doing drywall later, it's just a mess. Thanks a ton for watching this quick update to our spec house in Oakland County. You can expect more videos like this coming in the next couple weeks. And believe it or not, in less than two months, we're gonna be done with this entire project and have it up on the market. Guys, like this channel, subscribe for more information and videos coming to you weekly. Can't wait to see you in the next one.